So I love the craft of cooking. You know, I happen to be like good with my hands. You know, I guess I was born with like good manual dexterity. I could catch a football. I could play the piano a little bit in the kitchen when it comes to cutting or just the texture, feeling things and smelling them. It just feels like it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Why does everyone love pizza? So I had a theory on that. If you get a really good New York slice, you're getting an acidic tomato sauce, a creamy the mozzarella cheese, right? That flavor combination of acid and salt mixed with fat, you know, is like peaches and cream or strawberry and cream, or it's a classic combination, you know? Paired with a savory crust, like fresh bread out of an oven, it's just, our palate is like made for that. If someone was to like reverse engineer a food that is perfect for like the human palate, it would be pizza. So best pizza is uh, your classic by the slice pizzeria. And one thing that separates us is we have a old wood fire oven. It's about 130 years old. And we cook 20 inch pizzas by the slice in the vein of New York slice joints. But we kind of, try to kick it up a notch when it comes to ingredients, techniques, and, uh, and service. Pizza in New York is a big deal, right? Brooklyn always had the best pizzerias. It's the borough of immigrants, you know, so this is where everybody came when they, when they get off the boat. A lot of the immigrant families that migrated here from Italy settled down in Brooklyn, and you had a lot of old timers from the old country that opened up shops they never cut any corners, you know? It wasn't about the bottom line for them only. It was about the food. To have a pizzeria in Brooklyn is a huge source of pride for me, but in the beginning, it was also like, I was pretty nervous. I'm kind of of the mindset that people can smell bullshit like a mile away, you know? The people that come and eat here are very smart, that they have really educated conversations about food, Spring is around the corner. We'll put fiddlehead ferns and ramps on the pizza and our clientele will, will know exactly what it is and they'll appreciate it. So I don't sleep on people out there. Like I, I really believe that people know um, good stuff and um, I'm not trying to trick anybody. I want to give it to them in the most honest way that I can. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I think I express a lot of that through the pizzeria. I try to like uh, be really patient and, and compassionate to others. So whether it's my staff, customers, or even just people walking by, you know, life is tough and we all work hard. So especially in this city, day to day, I just try to keep it real. You know, I just try to be as honest with myself and with others as I can be. I really have nothing to hide. I'm really content and happy in life um, choosing this path. Anything that we do in here, I, I try to do it in like, like I would be serving food to my family, right? Both of my parents are from Sicily and my father was born there. My mother's siblings were born there, but she was born here. So they both grew up in Italian speaking households. At a young age, I realized that where my family was from in the Palermo region and a little bit of south of Palermo, I had an insane commitment to food. As I got older and older, I realized that that was something special. My entire life, I was surrounded by these very strong, loving women that cooked, and they all cooked. Like, my, my uh, father's side of the family did a lot of the savory cooking, and then my aunts on the other side, like my mother's sisters, were just incredible bakers. I mean, like, next level. So I feel like on both sides, genetically, I feel like it's something that's inside of me. You say love language and I didn't know it at the time, but that was my family's love language was to feed us, you know, and to nourish us. That moment of like being embraced by your grandmother as a kid and then eating the food that she just worked so hard all day to cook for you, you know, was her way of showing us love. And um, it was really powerful for me for many years. I think one thing that sets us apart is that we try to do as much as we can by hand. We only buy curd, so 
all of the mozzarella cheese that's used on all of our pizzas is pulled by our staff in the morning. Uh, anywhere from 80 to 120 pounds of mozzarella curd every day. We pick all of our own veggies in house. We, you know, we started our uh, our dough batch from a starter uh, in the pizzeria. Anytime we have a challenge, we really try to uh, do as much as we can by hand. I kind of wanted to make sure that the pizza that we made was not reinventing the wheel, but that we had our own stamp. And I had a really good idea about what I wanted my pizza to be. Like Modernist Cuisine came because they were doing the pizza cookbook. Chef Francisco Magoya came and kind of studied our pizza because they, they wrote about us and many other pizzerias. And he's like, the, your pizza is the, is the closest thing that I've ever seen to um, like a marriage between New York and Italian. Like a light bulb went off and I think that is me. Like I'm a New York kid with Italian parents. That's what separates us is that deep cultural stuff that I try to include in, like the sesame seeds around the crust. You don't see it a lot of pizzerias, but you see it a lot in Sicilian baking, you know? Basically, I think a lot of little details come together to make us um, different in our own way. There's only one way. There's only one way to be good at making pizza, and it's to make a lot of pizza. Because there's so many variables, especially when it comes to the dough, right? That's a difficult part of making pizza is when you spend this time making dough, maybe you ferment it for 24 hours, maybe you ferment it for 36 hours, maybe you leave it out, don't put it in a refrigerator at all and use it 12 hours later, right? At one point, even if you make that same dough every single day, the atmosphere, the, the, the conditions, the weather will affect that dough if it's cold, if it's hot. So you have to learn how to adapt, right? And if you don't make a lot of pizzas, you don't know what, how the dough is when it's cold outside or how the dough is when it's hot outside. It's a very simple answer. Make a lot of pizza. You could buy dough from the local pizzeria and then you get your muscle memory down and then you take that next step and you start you know, making um, dough at home. But having that piece of equipment, which is so accessible now, it's a lot easier than turning your oven on, especially if you live in a small apartment. I love the idea of, you know, of the pizzeria is made for everyone, you know, whether like you're eight years old or you're 80 years old. If you got five bucks in your pocket or you got five million bucks in your pocket, like it doesn't discriminate in any way. And when we opened Best Pizza, that was my goal was to show people like we didn't lose. New York didn't lose its game with pizza. It was sleeping for a little while, but now look at it, you know. <laughs>